<laughs> Hi, my name is Amy Shepard with McGaw Medical, and today I'm going to show you how to do a intubation with a Copilot VL and using a rigid stylet. To prepare your endotracheal tube, get your rigid stylet. You may want to put a little bit of water soluble lube on it, put it in your tube, making sure that the end of the rigid stylet does not extend past the Murphy eye and out the end of the endotracheal tube. I also like to put a little bit of water soluble lube on the end of the tube, and it helps that make the the tube make the turn past the patient's lips and teeth a little bit more smoothly. So take your co-pilot with your disposable sheath on it. You want to place it into the patient's mouth in a midline position, watching the sheath as it goes into the patient's mouth until it disappears into the oral pharynx. Once it safely makes it past the tongue, then take a look at your monitor. The tip of the sheath will be going into the molecula, and then using a rotation movement with your wrist, be able to get a good view of the vocal cords. You don't want to go down too far with the sheet. That's a common error made by novice VL users. If you, you're getting a view like this, oftentimes you're displacing the glottis more anteriorly and it can make it more difficult to get the tube to pass. So if you come back like this, you still have a great view of your cords and your arytenoids. Take your endotracheal tube. One method to do this is to place the tube into the patient's mouth at the three o'clock position Again, watching the tube as it disappears medially to the patient's back teeth. Once you make it into the oral pharynx, tilt the endotracheal tube up to the 12 o'clock position, and you can use a little technique that some people call like a slot machine technique, going this way, and then your endotracheal tube will slide between the patient's vocal cords. Taking your rigid stylet back so that it doesn't hang out, and then advancing a little bit. If you want to remove the stylet yourself, you can anchor the endotracheal tube with your other thumb and remove it towards the patient's feet. Then you can confirm your intubation and you're finished. Stay tuned and we'll show you a video of the co-pilot intubation using the rigid stylet on a, a real patient.